Today we're at uh, Lake Ties Aboriginal Trust in the far uh, east of the state, uh, delivering a 250 hectare or 248 hectare plan burn. Um, it's been in the, the, the making for a long time now and so the importance of this burn obviously being is to protect the township of Lake Ties, um, the Aboriginal Trust um, and their land surrounds. There's a lot of cultural heritage land, uh, trees and stuff in there as well, um, which we were obviously aiming to protect and they've gone through a treatment process where we were uh, able to wrap them, clean around them and uh, make sure that they remain. So there's around anywhere between uh, 50 and 60 firefighters here today on the line uh, with a number of resources from around the state including the State Plan Burn Task Force. Uh, the State Plan Burn Task Force actually makes up most of the people attending the burn uh, to conduct it and the resources have come as far as Benalla, Balmoral and uh, down on the Geelong coast. The training that you receive out of doing plan burning is paramount to a firefighter continuing CFA. Um, the, the intensity of the fire here is as much as we want to put in or as little as we want to put in which uses, uh, gives you opportunities to teach members that are new into the system, um, one about fire, fire behaviour uh, and um, the, the appreciating the fire uh, itself, respecting the fire. Charmaine's great uh, working with Bunjil Brigade. Um, she's, uh, Charmaine's one of the uh, local rangers at the Lake Aboriginal Trust. She's very keen to work alongside CFA and make sure the burns are happening uh, in Lake Tyres. Um, one, so they can protect their land in the next event of a bushfire around the area, and to two, to find more cultural heritage uh, trees, artifacts, and so on throughout the landscape as well.